go be my man. One of the most famous speeches was, What to the slave is the 4th of July? When he delivered the speech on July 5th, 1852, Douglas surprised his audience by posing questions about what Independence Day meant for enslaved people and what those wants to sway. What I or those I represent to do, uh, to do what your national independence are the great principles of, po uh, of political freedom, political freedom and, uh, and of natural justice. Is that declaration of independence intended to us? Right. Land the free. By the Civil War, Douglas was the most famous black man of the U.S. In 1863, he served as, pre uh, as Lincoln's advisor on the Emancipation Proclamation in order that freed the majority of enslaved people. He repeatedly urged Lincoln to make uh, I mean, emancipation a stated goal of the war. Some historians think Douglas helped inspire the famous Gettysburg Address. Douglas also convinced Lincoln to allow black uh, uh, soldiers to fight for the North. When they did, two of his sons are among them. Douglas writing and speaking helped end slavery with the 13th Amendment passed after a civil war ended in 1865. Three years later, uh, the 14th Amendment granted citizenship, uh, uh, citizenship citizenship uh, to former enslaved people. Shortly after that, in 1870, the 15th Amendment gave every male citizen, including black men, the right to vote. Douglas wanted uh, the U.S. to reach its potential as a land of the free for black people, women, Native Americans, and immigrants too. I would like, uh, I would unite uh, with anybody uh, to do right and with nobody to do wrong. Douglas said, uh, Douglas said, he continued to fight for the party uh, for the rest of his life. Douglas died um, on February 20, 1895. Today, Douglas is uh, often called the father of the civil rights movement. He changed the way Americans thought about slavery and the race. He uh, left behind words uh, to continue to inspire Americans, including this motto: Right is of no sex, truth is of no color. Okay, bye, goodbye.